So, GH6. I had the camera for a good couple of months now and I have really struggled to try and get the high frame rates working on it. Really couldn't work it out. I tried doing searches online, see if there's any YouTube advice or videos where people have gone through the same sort of thing. Nothing. So I finally decided to knuckle down, go through all the menu system myself, and work out what was going wrong. So turns out it was right at the outset the main problem was caused. When I bought the camera, I got it home, started setting up, and in the UK here, one of the first things that you set is whether you're NTSC or whether you're PAL. And I set it for the UK, which is PAL. That stopped the high frame rate options being available. I didn't realize that. I went on to do further configuration and built problem on top of problem. I ended up going through the menu system and understanding that there are so many things that you need to have in place before you can get it to work correctly. So number one, compact flash. You're going to be bursting through a shed load of data. It's going to come through really fast and in very great volumes. You've got to have something fast enough to be able to cope with it. So you've got to have a compact flash in place for starters, compact flash card. So the next thing is in the menu system. Menu systems themselves, you've got a whole bunch of, of settings. We know, we know that the GH6 has got that many. It's actually got a filter to be able to allow you to select through the, <laughs> the vast number of recording qualities. To enable all of those options to be presented to you, you have to first of all, compact flash in place, make sure you set the frequency of 59.94. You then need to make sure you're in movie setting so dot mov is a recording type then you can go into the record quality and when you go into the record quality you're then presented with a plethora of options the reason that i wanted to try and get the high frame rates rather than the variable frame rate means that i can actually record sound as well and use the autofocus settings which i use quite frequently on this camera when you're using variable frame rate, you don't get that option. So selecting high frame rates, now, finally, finally you've got it. High frame rates, you can record sound and use autofocus up to 120 frames per second. So I was able to select in the display filter settings for the record quality, select my 119 frame rate, which equates to a 29.97 when you slow it back down in post-processing. And also, in post-processing, you get all of that sound coming through as well. I only got it, yes. Oh, it took me flipping ages. I'm very pleased that I finally worked it out. Quick little recap then. Firstly, compact flash. Make sure you've got a compact flash card that's fast enough to be able to record onto. I'll put a link down in the description to the sorts of rates of cards that you'll need to buy. They're not cheap high speed data and high quality film isn't. Next is the MOV setting, make sure that that is set. Then NTSC, your 59.94. There are a couple of other options and again I'll include the other options that you can select down in the description. Then you can select your high frame rate. Now depending on how much you want to slow the, the image down, you can go anything up to 4K, 119 frames per second, 9, 120 frames per second, which will allow you to slow it down four times. You'll be able to slow it down to 0.25 of your standard rate to get some really clear full 4K slow motion going on. And you even have the option in HD to go up to 240. So with 240, you can slow it down no end, and it's just, it, it's, well, brilliant. Have a play and see what you think. But that's it. So that's what I've, I've been working on this weekend and that's what I wanted to share with you. And I hope that it helps you out because I know it's taken me flipping ages trying to work out how to get the high frame rate. There isn't an HFR option. It just shows up within the record quality, but it will only show up in the record quality once you have those other things in place, first of all. So hope that helps you out. And that's it for now. My name's Rich and this is It's Adventure.